there. This is Crow Draven, like the usual, and I feel a little bit rusty about recording. Um, hopefully I don't breathe into the mic or anything, because I'm using a new headset, or it's not new, it's actually old. I didn't upgrade, I downgraded. <laughs> um, I came to conclusion hello, uh, that my new microphone is too quiet. What you be doing there? Get off the ground. Um, my new microphone is too quiet. And... Oh, sorry, you're gonna sleep then. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's too quiet. And... I gotta use this new one. Don't mind about the gravel tower over there, it's just a marker for something. Because this is the thing I'll be working with. Um, now, like you can see, I'm using a new intro. That's one of the two new intros. I'm not sure have I told this to you guys already or not, but I'm just gonna tell it anyways to make sure. So, the intro you just saw tells you that um, I'm gonna work with this place, the village, and the way it looks now, um, let me get to the jungle, uh, how should I say it so I don't sound like an idiot, um, the way thing, well, yeah, wait, the way things are now, how they look now, um, is pretty much that, um, this place has quite a lot room to grow. Uh, you saw that thing in the beginning, and um, I tried to make this a little bit story based, kind of something that happens in real life, actually. And uh, whoop. what is that? What happens in real life? Well, we have a small village. Uh, it has two houses about five testificates living here now. Not even that many, I'd say. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four testificates. Um, like you can see, there's no village here. I didn't ship these guys over from anyone's anyone's village. I actually used the golden apples and weakness potions or something like that, so... It took me two days <laughs> to get two villagers turned back to human. Two real-life days, but I didn't play 24-7. So we have a small and nice village, there's a whale and stuff like that. And then, um, company or something doesn't actually have a name yet, I might ask you guys for a name later on in this episode, so um, some form of company decides to set up a um, small office nearby um, which is still work under Oh, it's under construction. But those guys, they are planning something. I don't know what yet. Um, or we don't know. Or even more specific, you don't know what they're planning. And the village originally had a small, nice bridge here to get to the forests. Because there's a <laughs> because I wanted to build something like that, so they had that the beginning to begin even with. And there's a ravine close by. They have a good source of lava and stuff in here. 
and for some reason that company is really interested in this small village and we will see what will happen to this village when well time goes on but I'm gonna use the rest of this episode to go check out my house so I'm back or the mansion so I'll be back very soon so we're closing in on my mansion and I've been doing work here uh, I'll be I'll still be visiting this place quite a lot I think because most of my stuff is in here and my only ender chest that's really mine I usually use the one in the spawn village so added a rug or mattress not mattress this begins again last time I tried to show you guys this house um, in another video which I happened to delete by an accident I kept on calling these things a mattress it's not a mattress come on learn it's a rug for now is it even a rug oh my ah gosh uh, not sure have you guys seen this rug it's just an easy thing to add a little bit of a uh, uh, color and there's my kitchen table there's, a, there's this nice roof thing because there's a this thing is again another rug in here in the upstairs what I might do in here, I might take all these walls down and apply the same um, again. I feel like breath I'm breathing into the mic. Uh, apply the same floor, like you can see, the floor changes over there. Um, apply the same floor to the whole thing, maybe even remove this mat uh, rock. I was gonna say it again, and make this um, gross room of achievements. If I ever achieve anything, nothing changed here. My favorite filming place. Um, that thing has grown quite a lot towards that direction because my ship keep on making me mad. And here's the office. Um, I never come into this room, I just didn't know what to do with this, so it became an office. Might add some bookshelves around here, make that uh, some kind of more interesting looking furniture. I don't know what, the, what on earth it is at the moment. It's, it's um, modern art <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, this might be just an extension for the gross room of achievements. My bedroom, nothing new. Added a painting. Then this this room, no use yet, but the spi um, semi spiral staircase down. Even as there's another staircase here. Um, got some friendos here. I don't know why, I just threw an egg under my stairs and it hatched as a chicken and I entrapped it there and decided well you're gonna stay there and then I got some more of them. My bar, this is when guys come over, or oh, actually two, because there's only two chairs. I can be here and be a good uh, host to my guests, a good bar keep and offer them Potion of invisibility. Invincibility. Oh, nope. Invisibility. And they'll be going on their merry way there. Now, I might uh, start using a texture pack more regularly, and it kind of breaks this thing. It's kind of like an aquarium 
which is still empty. Because always when I go fishing, I eat my catch. If somebody can come up with some, well, something in this corner, um, guys from the server, for example, if you want, you can just come here and do something to this corner. I don't really mind. Uh, television, there's a wither fight going on. It's a Smackdown versus wither versus Rob. <laughs> Lost a copyright there. <laughs> Just a joke. Uh, anyways, um, not furnace. Uh, fireplace. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with it. It's kind of pearl bulky, 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 uh, big, annoying, huge. But never mind. I don't have to watch it. Uh, Pinball table. That actually changes into a. Uh, I think it's some game character or something in the painterly pack I was gonna use. So it looks a little bit more like a pinball machine. A nice chair there. This is actually a torture device. Somebody sits on there and then you slam his head like. Like so. Enchanting room. No. Now this took quite a while. Shut your mouth. Yeah. It took me quite a while to get it this much done. Um, and then we have the security room is still a mess. Meaning it's just sand, gravel and dirt. Still haven't made that that thing. I'm just gonna do it someday now, but uh, I ran out of wool that I was gonna use for it and decided, well, so be it. Um, because I added those pistons as bar tools, I had to make this floor three blocks. Three blocks uh, high, and because there's windows there, I just left some holes for the windows. It doesn't look too good, but I guess it lets some natural light in. In other words, it's good enough for me, because I only go there to take up something from those chests, or to go down to the row labs or whatever I called this thing. Yes actually few changes in here too. Um from now on let's call this the main stairwell. And there's no pumpkins and watermelons. Now only wheat here for now. But I also have potatoes. I don't have any carrots at all. I found one. Um, where did I find that one? I found one from somewhere because I got those. Or two from somewhere. Um, mm mm. I think I had few in my chest or something. Then there's the sugar reeds. You can't really see anything in here. But there's two similar plots of sugar reed. And then I took off, took on an hour walk to find a desert which is nearest to my place, to my understanding, which I have found. It took me an hour to find it. And I know somewhat where it was because that's where I was originally gonna start my place, but well, turns things didn't turn out that way, so I started my home somewhere else. And well, here it is. There's still that ravine, I think I made one episode in there. I'm going the wrong way. There's nothing but a hole in there. Uh, trust me, 
<laughs> and mm, then we go over here. I haven't collected that coal, and it will most likely take a while before I will collect it. There's furnaces. There's a huge shaft, and for some reason I can hear water, which I shouldn't not hear. Oh, maybe I should. I think, yeah. Uh, this is just so if you have something uncooked. Oh, yeah, I think I should be hearing that water. Um, if you have something uncooked, you can cook it while you're here, and what you do, you just stand here and wait something to happen. And this is the original double build thing. So now that them, them things just start popping down. And you get arrows and bones. It's just a longer shaft, so they will die when they drop. Because if I need to enchant something, I will just go to the ender farm. And that's the stairwell we came up, and this is the main stairwell again, so it's um, I think Fiven oh, senses came to visit and got lost <laughs> in there. So now it's a little bit of um, more of a maze, but it's more likely that you will get into the main shaft. Or ladder, or whatever we decided to call them, or I decided. Not gonna go into my sheep farms because it's loud and annoying. And last but not least, I've got something else finally done, and I have a cow farm. Now, it's not anything great or fantastic or surprising or anything even close. Oh yeah, I named my sword after Annihilator, the Canadian band. Rage Absolute. Because I think it's so it's Fire Spec 2. No, Fire Spec 1, Knock Pack 2, Sharpness 3. It's a killer. That's just a kill. Do I have anything else? That's. I don't have anything else special. Special. Uh, oh, interesting. But anyways, that was my house, and I have a cow farm now. Then there's the sheep farms. It's not a tower yet, and I might just keep it that way. I don't need that much wool, anyways. Once I complete this thing. And it will that take time. I'm gonna take a break out of this building because I just don't feel like building it for a while. And that's pretty much it. So that's what has been going on. I've been doing little things they here and there. The whole three weeks that I had of my winter vacation or holidays. Um actually Christmas and New Year holidays because there's another holiday coming up which is a week long winter holiday and I might take a break then too because I feel it's a lot easier oh my frame rates dropping for some reason I feel it's a lot easier that when I'm in school I have this rhythm in life and times when I sleep when I do this, when I do that. And it's a lot easier me for me to find time and uh, interest. Well, not the interest, but... Uh, it's a lot easier f for me to record, I don't know why. Um, I just lose my touch when I have... I la had like a three weeks long 
Christmas holiday. This is the last Saturday and Monday is back to school day and uh, I haven't gotten anything done. I have just been just um, running around in the server. I haven't done anything interesting. Uh, oh wait, that was actually a lie. Um, be right back. So yeah, um, this is actually one of the leftovers on the stream, live stream I did yesterday, which was which was Friday. Uh, I was testing my live stream broadcasting equipment, and I've got it finally to work after about three days of losing my mind with it. And <laughs> what I did is that I've been thinking about this for a long time when I saw the first two food trucks then came Demo mm. and made the third one and I started thinking that well there's something these guys are missing from this team and it's the effect that I have I don't have a driver's license I'm not allowed mm. to drive and this became the snowman taxi line and not walking in the air because Nate put that little guy over there once I put it uh, Nate was watching the stream and seems like once I quit the streaming and went to do something else Nate came over and gave me a snowman in there, so it's now the snowman taxi lines food truck. And it's on its roof and my passenger passenger is still inside because I'm a lousy driver. I can't drive. And <laughs> I've I've actually tried driving a car uh, in controlled environment that's a low grass place. He's a new player on our server. He used to play at most survival too, where I started my YouTube career. Don't have the videos anymore in my channel though, uh, because I didn't make much of them anyways, and they didn't feel they were so interesting because there was nobody, nobody else doing YouTube in the server. So yeah, um, I never had a driver's license and um, one day, a uh, long time ago, uh, I was 17 I think, uh, 17 or 16 and um, me and my dad were changing uh, wheel, window wheels to the car he owns and um, he let me test, test drive it once we had changed the tires or actually I changed the tires alone because he was making food for us we just came from the city because uh, at that point I already lived on in the city all by myself and um, I changed the wheels and then he just said well do you wanna drive and we went and there's a lot of fields around in my home place and well we just went for a ride and I drive in the field for a short while and noticed that the hardest thing for me in driving a car is braking. I can't slow down. So if somebody gets ever gets a good idea and comes up to me like Crow here's you some money get yourself a driver's license and then we're setting off on a road trip it will be a short one because I'll be driving like 120 kilometers per hour because I can't brake for anything <laughs> I don't know why but it just felt so hard the braking thing anyways this episode is too long already. I didn't plan it to be this long, and I wanted to just be in my village, which is why I had the new intro, <laughs> one of the two new intros. And uh, look at me—I'm standing in the spawn city. 
something went wrong with this episode. This wasn't in the script. Anyways, um, it was nice talking to you, and see you in the next episode. Bye!